Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession. Be seated. Professor Wei Guok Ki, Provost, SIM, Professor Catherine Cassell, Dean, Birmingham Business School, University of Birmingham, distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to the SIM and University of Birmingham degree congregation for the class of 2021. My name is Jie Ling, and I am honoured to be your Master of Ceremony today. It is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished guests on stage. Starting from your left, we have Dr. Timothy Chan, Vice Provost of SIM. Professor Catherine Cassell, Dean, Birmingham Business School, University of Birmingham. <laughs> On your right, we have Professor Mark Saunders, Professor of Business Research Methods and Director of Global Engagement, Birmingham Business School, University of Birmingham. And Professor Wei Kwok Ki, Provost of SIM. I would now like to invite Professor Wei Kwok Ki, Provost, SIM, to deliver the opening address. Professor Wei, please. Professor Catherine Cassell, Dean, Birmingham Business School, University of Birmingham. Distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2021 SIM University of Birmingham degree congregation. Today is a special occasion. Last year, with limitation imposed by the pandemic, we had to hold our ceremony virtually. This year, we are able to proceed with a physical one with safe management precautionary measure in place. It is with great pleasure that I'm standing here today to address all of you face to face for this important milestone of your life. Congratulations, class of 2021. More than 3,000 of you will be graduating over these two days. Your learning journey over the past years has been nothing short of turbulence as the world grappled with the effect of pandemic, 
you had to quickly pivot to online learning and adapt to limited physical interactions with your lecturers and fellow classmates. Against the backdrop of COVID-19, you have proven to be resilient. I'm proud of all of you for your perseverance and accomplishment today. I'm sure that one very important contributing factor to your achievement is the strong support from your family members and loved ones. If they are here with you today, do take a moment to show them your appreciation after this ceremony. Graduates, you have every reason to be proud in graduating from University of Birmingham, which ranks among the top 100 universities in the world. The Birmingham Business School is one of the oldest university business schools in England and one of the few that hold the Triple Crown accreditations from the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business, the Association of MBAs, and the European Quality Improvement Systems. This year marked SIM's 13 years of partnership with the university. Upon your graduation today, you will join more than 3,000 alumni in Singapore who have gone through the same rigorous training as you. As you embark on the next chapter of your life, you will soon find out that the road of adaptation and learning has just begun. But this time, you will be in a different setting. The pandemic has caused major shift in how businesses operate today. Indeed, over the last two years, many organizations have to adjust and innovate their processes in order to survive in the new normal, a term that you probably have heard many times by now. This means that you are likely to head into a work environment that consists of hybrid workplaces, video conferencing, remote working and flexible work arrangement. This trend is likely to continue as Singaporeans learn to live with COVID as an endemic. What then are the important implications of these changes to you? What mindset shift do you need to be workforce ready? First, you have to be receptive to unpredictability. Besides looking at skill-based competency, employers are focusing on soft skills nowadays. You should not only be able to prove that you can handle new digital way of working, you must also show that you have the capability to embrace uncertainty and work well in ambiguity. Second, you need to be able to seize opportunity as they come. Even though there are signs that our economic and labor market are improving, you may find that the path to job seeking is not as straightforward as you may have imagined. While many businesses have permanently shut down over the course of the pandemic, new company has also sprung into existence. If you are still in the process of finding your dream job, stay positive, curious, and maybe even consider stepping out of your comfort zone to try new things. You'll be surprised that a particular business sector that you have not explored may end up being the perfect starting point to grow and home your career. Third, which is most probably the most important one, is never stop learning. Having a degree from the University of Birmingham is a good start. From here on, you will discover the importance of constantly upgrading your skills and knowledge in order to remain relevant throughout your working life. SIM is here to support your learning journey throughout the different stage, stages of your career. Check in with us if you need any support for your professional development. We will be happy to help you with the wide range of programs, internship, and even potential job offering we have, some of which are done in partnership with our numerous 
industrial partner. Graduates, you have already shown great mental and emotional resolve by pushing through the various challenges over the course of your program. I'm certain that with such grit and determination, you will not only survive, but drive in the new normal. As you forge ahead in your professional journey, stay connected with us at SIM and the University of Birmingham through our alumni office. We will be very much like to hear of your progress and share your success stories. Once again, congratulations to all of you. You are truly an inspiration to us all, and I wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Wei. I shall now invite Professor Richard Black, Pro Vice Chancellor, University of Birmingham, who joins us virtually, and Professor Mark Saunders, Professor of Business Research Methods and Director of Global Engagement, Birmingham Business School, University of Birmingham, for the presentation of graduates. Pro Vice-Chancellor, to you and to the University, I present the names of these graduates, as listed in my program, both in attendance and in absentia, proved worthy to be admitted to their respective degrees. By virtue of my authority as Pro Vice-Chancellor, I admit those persons listed in the program to the degree for which they are to be presented. I would now present the graduates to Professor Catherine Cassell, Dean, Birmingham Business School, University of Birmingham. Dean, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science, Accounting and Finance program. The first class honours recipients are... Gu Li. Lim Jin Hao. Quick Wei Chuan R. Kumaran And finally Tay Zi Kang Jonas. Graduates are Ang Han Ling Willin A Theory Thin Chua Eng Kit Hakim bin Muhammad Yunus Jennifer Tan
Lilian Tong. Lo Cheng Han Nicholas. Samuel Khan Wei Hao. Si Wei Han. Shirley Ong. Tio Jian Yan Aaron. And finally, Tam Ka Yi. Dean, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science Business Management with Communications program. The first class honours recipients are Ching Shermin, <laughs> Malcolm Lim Wei Xiong. And finally, Sophia Kim Marisa Binti Maslan. The graduates are Alicia Ang Hui Ting. Chai Hui Shen. Charlotte Tang Anti. Cheryl Chua Jing Mei. Chong Yong Chi Gladys. Desiree Seng Bun Huang. Erika Kwek Li Xuan. Gita Laxmi Prasanti Ho Hui Ying Alexis Ho Jia Han Isaac Ng Chi An. John Tan Ro An. Julian He Hui An. Lam Jin Hao Gary Leong Evans Liu Shi E. Claire Lim Pei Ying Liu Yi Yun
Lo Lin Hui. Lo Si Ming Eden. Monique Lidua Palaruan. Nadaline Go Sun Sun. Ong Xiang Xiu. Ong Xiang Ting. Carissa Yap Wen Si. Kalista Binti Zaini. Sim Rong Hui Fabian. Su Xiao Wan Tiu Hui Lin Yvonne Tiu Jie Yu Tay Sweat Ting Valencia Lim Ye Yen Vanessa Tan Tian Yan Neville Wu Jia Chi And finally, Yu Jia Ri Cloris Dean, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science, Business Management with Communications and Geo and Industry program. The first class honours recipients are... Celine Shan. <laughs> and finally, Lim Hui Joy. The graduates are Andrew Prem Sundar Joanna Ellis and Avantika Augustin Lopez. Bernice Ng Kailin. Bryant Tan Christabel Chan Shu Min Chua Jia Sin Amelia
Changi Xuan Jolin. Ella Ng Jia Xian. Erika Graciela Jajono. Jacinda Ko E. Ting. Joshua Mitchell Simon. Joy Kwek Yuning. Lim Shu Xuan. Luan Yi Chi. Ong Hui Yi. Ong Yi Xuan Ariel. Pamela Chun Yong Chi. Pavitra Krishnan. Pei Shaolo. Sid Munkit. Tan Kai Chi. Viduna Ilan Shalian. Wong Lin Ying. Yong Hui Sin Karis. And finally, Yong Ik Man. Dean, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science International Business Programme. The first class honours recipients are Heidi Wun Hui Yi. And finally, Vairavan Shanmugam Kanan B. Vairavan. The graduates are Alesta Benjamin Hedra, Brenda Billy. Chen Wei Ren Bryan. Chiu Pei Yi. Clement Ang Keng Yu. Darren Lim Jin Ming.
Gu Hui Ling Jamie. Hans Christian Pranawahadi. Joel Tong Guo Shun. Ko Ying Ru Victoria. Lo Hong Ting. Mary Tay Xuan Yun. Samantha Thong Xing Ling. Tan Yen Ni. Tay Su E. Kirby. Wong Ho Fung Marco. Ye Xiao Ping. And finally, Zhang Han Xiao. Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. Due to the travel restrictions, we have some graduates residing overseas who are unable to attend the ceremony in person today. We are pleased to present them through a slideshow. Thank you, Professor Saunders. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now present University of Birmingham 
undergraduate awards to individual graduates who have excelled in their studies. Accounting and Finance Prize, Tae Ji Kang Jonas. <laughs> Communications Prize, Sophia Kim Marissa Binti Maslan. Communications and Year in Industry Prize, Celine Sean. <laughs> International Business Prize, Heidi Woon Hui Yi. <laughs> Dissertation Prize, Kwek Wei Chuan. Thank you, Professor Cassell, for giving away the awards. We will now watch a video recording of the graduation address by Professor Richard Black, Pro Vice Chancellor, University of Birmingham. Members of the university, esteemed colleagues from Singapore Institute of Management, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I am Professor Richard Black, Pro Vice Chancellor and Head of the College of Social Sciences, of which Birmingham Business School is a significant part. I would like to offer my warmest congratulations to all of you who are now graduates of Birmingham Business School, as well as a special welcome to parents and friends who are joining you in person or virtually today to help you celebrate this landmark event in your lives. I hardly need say that we are all getting used to a hybrid world as our respective countries continue to manage the global pandemic, where business continuity and global relationships like that between the University of Birmingham and SIM have found new ways of operating. Major adaptations have been made in your lives and ours. As our students at SIM, you were looking forward to face-to-face -face teaching from Birmingham flying faculty but as COVID-19 restricted all of our lives, re the resilience and adaptability demonstrated by students has been impressive. Hence today is not just a celebration of your academic achievements, but also of the strength and agility you've developed through continuing towards your goal, despite the setbacks experienced during the global pandemic. This demonstrated adaptability and sustainability is exactly what graduate employers are looking for today along with the global outlook that is the hallmark of a University of Birmingham graduate. You are well equipped as you stand on the threshold of exciting careers and career progression. Your degree certificate represents the insights you have gained into research and business practices and your ability to succeed, not only in an academic environment, but in tomorrow's fast-changing working world. We are extremely proud of the achievements of our Singaporean alumni. Whether they've completed their study in Birmingham, such as Un Jin Yeo, recently retired executive chairman at PwC, and Lim Ming Yan, former president and group CEO at Capital Land Limited, or studied here in Singapore, such as Michael Wang, senior manager, finance and treasury at Grab, and Jimmy Ong, head of business development at Hewlett Packard. UOB graduates are frequency in frequently influencing leading global organizations at the highest level. We look forward to hearing about your successes as you develop your careers. Our past students have found employment with Singapore Airlines, Procter & Gamble, IBM, Barclays Capital, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, PwC, Singapore Press Holdings and many other prominent Singaporean and international companies. Organisations, be they business, academic or professional, need graduates like you as they build their futures. Above all else, the University of Birmingham seeks to make an impact. This is not just a function of our size, although with over 35,000 students globally, we're one of the largest UK universities. The original charter of the university established the teaching of business to educate the children of local entrepreneurs who would become the future leaders of industry. 
This value is still upheld today in Singapore and further afield. We continue in our mission to educate the leaders of tomorrow by putting people at the heart of business and business at the heart of society. Our world-class research contributes to academic debate and supports business globally across a broad range of areas to help shape better and more responsible and inclusive business strategies. For example, we are now actively engaged in COVID and post-pandemic related research to assist ongoing protection and recovery. The Birmingham Business School is accredited by the Association of MBA Accreditations. Together with our long-standing Equus and US-based Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business, we, won, we are one of a small number of institutions in Europe and indeed the world to hold the gold standard Triple Crown accreditation. Our international connections continue to evolve and deepen. As well as a close and valued partnership with SIM in Singapore, we're establishing our new campus in Dubai. Here, students study programs in business at foundation, undergraduate and master's level, and programs range from economics to teacher training and mechanical engineering. This marks the latest phase in the University of Birmingham's global expansion and builds on extensive international research collaborations, CPD programs, distance learning courses, and well-established international teaching activities in Singapore and China. We also have links to major universities in Chicago, Birmingham's sister city in the United States. We are indeed an established global institution. The university's relationships and connections in Singapore remain a vitally important part of our international agenda, and we're committed to further developing our partnerships in the region. Singapore's largest railway operator and the university's Department of Electrical Engineering have embarked on several research projects that will enhance the reliability of railway networks. In addition, our School of Law offers one of only a few UK law degrees recognised in Singapore. I'm delighted to report that the Business School's relationship with SIM continues to grow. In October 2021, we launched our new MSc Financial Management Programme, which aligns well with Singapore being a global finance hub. Our response as a university to the pandemic has been hugely impressive. For example, the development of key clinical trials to find treatments that work, or various contributions to testing, numerous research projects that seek to understand the effects of COVID-19 on health management, social work, inclusivity, the regional economy, schools, democratic processes, not to mention moving our entire global educational offer online in a matter of weeks. Now we've moved back to face-to-face -face delivery in many cases where it is safe to do so, and with the resilient support of our hardworking partners here at SIM. The year ahead is one already full of hope. As an official partner of the 2022 Commonwealth Games, the University of Birmingham's global reach is extending across all Commonwealth Games competing com countries. Just this week saw the arrival of the Commonwealth Games Queen's Baton Relay in Singapore. The Singapore National Olympics Committee agreed the route of the baton bearers to include the running through the heart of Sims campus, recognising it as both the spiritual and operational home of the University of Birmingham, from where we graduate more than 400 students annually. The baton, designed at the University of Birmingham, left Buckingham Palace last October and will finally arrive back in Birmingham to mark the start of the 2022 Games this summer. Another first this week has been the live streaming of a University of Birmingham event from the SIM campus globally. Tuesday's panel discussion, The Business of Sport in a Digital Age, brought together business leaders, sports influencers, alumni and current students to discuss current global trends and the opportunities of digital in a post-pandemic world. There is plenty to be hopeful about too for our current and future students as the university progresses with its student mobility initiative to encourage more of our students from across the world to spend time studying in a different country, to further grow cross-cultural awareness and build on the global mindsets of our graduates. For you, as new graduates of the University of Birmingham, expect to be in demand with employers in Singapore and the wider region. In this, the 12th year of our strong relationship with SIM, we are an established brand amongst ASEAN graduate employers. As one recent graduate put it, 
In a job interview, I started to explain about the UOB and SIM, but the panel stopped me, saying, we know all about the University of Birmingham and Singapore. That's why we invited you for interview. As you graduate today, your relationship with the University of Birmingham does not end, but enters a new chapter. As alumni, you will join a strong community of UOB graduates who continue to gather at our alumni events, to network, to continue to share our vision for building and growing responsible businesses, to enable social mobility and true purpose in our work. Our former students tell us that the friendships they forged at university are important and special. As with those friends, I hope you will stay in touch with the university as you are now members of our alumni community of more than 220,000 former students in 195 countries around the world. We hope that you will consider, as your careers develop, becoming a mentor. Many influential former business school students have mentored students, including David Gill, former Chief Executive of Manchester United, and Sir Chris N. Banks, Managing Director of Coca-Cola Great Britain. You can be proud of being a graduate from one of the top 100 universities in the world. I do also hope that one day your careers or your travels may take you to our campus at Birmingham. It is one of the most beautiful university campuses in the world, and you will always be welcome. We are in the privileged position of educating a fantastic group of Singaporeans and international students, taught by Birmingham academics, often world experts in their field, to deliver gold standard research-led teaching. Our graduates can be found all over the world in every kind of industry as they chase their dreams on the international stage. So finally, when you leave the session today to continue celebrating with family and friends, remember it is with our admiration, respect and congratulations. Our very warmest and best wishes for the future. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Black. On behalf of SIM and University of Birmingham, we would also like to congratulate our graduates. As we celebrate your success, let us not forget the people who have walked this arduous journey of learning with you, encouraging and supporting you along the way. Today, as you don your academic regalia, they are the ones who are the most proud of you. May I now request for graduates to rise Turn and face your parents, spouses, children, relatives, and friends. Let us put our hands together to show our appreciation to your family and your loved ones. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the degree congregation. We thank you for celebrating this special occasion with us. May I request for the audience to please rise as the academic procession takes its leave.